Hey guys, welcome back. This is Raja. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to look at the stock Nikola. Uh, we are going to see the stock is offering any short term put entry or short entry at this price level. I am remain bullish on this stock, but looks like this stock is a little bit weakened and offering some short or put entry at this price level. So let's look at the chart and see what's going on and get started right now. And before we move on, this is our website. Please check it out when you get a chance. All the informations are recorded out there. Please check out all of our social media sites. We are everywhere. We love to see you guys there. And please do not forget to now subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing a lot more videos on many stocks in coming days. So as I said, I remain bullish on this stock. Before we now take a look at this short entry, let's look at this long entry. It is in the tracker on the website. It's added to the tracker on 87 when it was trading around $36.72. And as of today, it's closing around $40.81, I believe. And um, it's gained almost an 11% gain since then. And the minimum entry price was $36.72. And the maximum entry price was $38.56. And the stop loss was $33.78. So as of now, the stock now for the long term, it looks a little bit bullish, but the short term, I believe it's offering some secondary entry point or short entry point rather at this price level. So let's look at the chart. I believe this stock is now offering a short entry point as it's now running into resistance. It's 10 week moving average. So you are looking at the weekly setting for Nikola. I like the weekly settings because it eliminates a lot of daily noise and the two indicators that I follow is the 10 week moving average and the 50 week moving average. So when the stock trades above the 10 week moving average, it's kind of bullish sign and for the short term, but when it trades below that line for the short term, it's a bearish sign. So that is the reason I believe this offering is short entry around this price level around 40, 29 or so. Uh, then. Uh, Probably like you know, it might found support around the $30 price level if the pressure continues. So I believe like if you wanted to make a quick you know, in and out, this stock is now offering a short entry point at this price level. And it will you know, very well found support around this $30 price range because last time it's bottomed out, it rallied really nicely. Then it ran into resistance such as a 50 week moving, 10 week moving average line again and again here and again here and again today as well. So that is the reason I believe it's offering like, you know, a short or put entry point at this price level. And probably it may not be like, you now super duper breakdown from here. It's going to be you now short lived, uh, uh, short term uh, pressure, I believe. So if you want to you now make money, quick money in and out, probably, you know, you can look at some puts for this a guy so let's look at some puts call right now so i think you can look at october 35 or 30 dollar put for this guy which is you now came down a little bit it's like you know, a little bit under pressure today but it didn't know break down yet so still it's trading like you know, in a decent price level so probably like you may want to consider you know the 30 or 35 put for october that is someone you can start with but the long term this stock remain bullish so it might very well support find support around $30 price level and rally back again. Again, all this EV stocks like you now hype and uh, every day it goes up and come down. Some of the stocks are now really showing some results like Nikola and Tesla and all, but some stocks not really creepy. Um, but this stock is now running into some pressure around its 10 week moving average. It's not just today, you know, it's almost last three weeks. This guy is not living under that line. So that is the reason now I believe like you know, it's going to be a bearish one. But once you hit this price level, probably like you know, it might offer a very good long entry point. So for the long term, this stock is not remain bullish. But the short term, like you now, it looks like you now it's going to come down a little bit due to the pressure it is happening for the last three, four weeks. So that is my take. So if you guys want to you know, take a look at October 35 or 30 call, you know, it's up to you guys, but you know, you can take a look at this and they look a little bit attractive to me. Uh, so that's my take. Okay, guys, to recap, Nikola is you now for short term, it is uh, like an under pressure right now. For the long term, it may be no bullish. So you can take a look at some call, some puts for now, and later now you can look at some calls. So that's about it. So please check it out on all of our website. And please check out all our social media sites. We are everywhere. And please do not forget to now subscribe to the channel. I will be doing a lot more videos in coming days. Uh, I will see you guys in another video relatively very shortly. Until then, have a great night.